Okay, so I'm going to do a quick reading on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship energy. So, um, I'm just going to pull a few tarot cards, maybe a few oracle cards, maybe if I feel like it, if I don't have like, if I don't feel like I have enough information, I will pull, you know, a couple oracle cards, but let's get into the reading. Okay, so the first three tarot cards are Prince Harry's feelings on him and Meghan's relationship energy. And we have the world, nine of pentacles, and ooh, nine of cups. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Just by, you know, taking a few glances at the cards, I'm already seeing that Prince Harry feel like this relationship is on like a very rocky slope because I'm picking up a lot of both being very independent of themselves. So, yes, they're in a relationship, but it feels almost like they're doing their own thing right now. I'm not sure how to describe it. It feels very like have their own separate goals. There's almost separate lives, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't want to jump to to conclusions. But it's just all first glance. It's all first glance. I do think Prince Harry is kind of getting tired of having to prove something to the world. Because this world card is making me think, like, I'm just ready. Like, I'm tired of this constant race pushing back the goalposts so that I have to prove this with my relationship, my marriage, and stuff like that. It's getting very tiring because it's like a constant battle and he's getting tired of going through with it. Yeah, so far I just think he doesn't like the public and outside people all up in his relationship. I don't, I'm assuming so because people always talk, you know, crap about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. So, it's probably very tiring. He's probably tired of, you know, him and his wife's name in the articles or in the news and stuff like that. And it's constant battle of approval or trying to prove themselves. So, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. But it's not pentacles right here of wanting this, wanting this life free of responsibilities and that's making me think about the whole um him and Megan they move yeah they moved here to the um, U.S. I'm pretty sure I'm not sure if they still a part of the what you call it like I don't know the name of you know part of the royalty I'm not sure like if they're still a part of it like they can be still considered I don't know like, I don't know nothing about this whole rural stuff, this whole rural family stuff. So I'm sorry, I don't really understand it. But I feel like he is happy that he is, I guess, walked away from that type of lifestyle. Because I feel like he wanted a different lifestyle independent of his prince title. Because he wants to have his own things. I do think he's happy about that. And that's something that he liked. Something that he liked when he kind of got with Megan. Because she brought forward this separation of who he once was as a prince versus now. I'm not saying that Megan influenced him. Because I don't really know. I'm just saying that he liked the he likes the freedom that he got with being with Megan. Because I feel like he just wanted... To be himself at the end of the day. I do think there is some delusions to this dream of independence. Because I feel like something like the mask is falling off. I feel like things aren't what seem. Like maybe in the beginning everything was good. But like I said earlier about how he's tired of the scrutiny and everything. Like people always having to say and what he's doing in his relationship with his, I guess, like brothers and father or his relationship with Megan. He's he's just kind of tired of it all. And yes, he does like what he received with being with Megan, but I'm starting to think that that he's tired of pretending like everything is fine. 
because everything is not fine. Wow. Like, I really think that Prince Harry thought having this independent lifestyle, almost like a normal person in a way, they're not normal people, but still a normal lifestyle outside the royal family would be easy. It would be a dream come true, but it's nothing like that because I'm starting to think you see the reality of it because I do think that Prince Harry is very lazy and he thought that everything would just come very easy to him when it, when it's not. It's not. He realized there's still a lot of hard work. There's still a lot of struggling going on with trying to be this independent person. Like, did he try to, like, start his own business or venture into something, like, selling something? Because I feel like he thought he could, like, oh, I could sell this, you know, due to my popularity in a way of being a royal, make a lot of money, and then, boom, the good life, just chilling, interviewing. Like, I won't have to do a lot. Because I feel like he thought that this new lifestyle with Megan would be very easy less stressful and less work when it's not when it's not that makes me think about the whole what's the word like influencing like I feel like it's still a lot of work in in the um influencing business because if you think about it posting pictures making content like trying to you know stay active I feel like that's still a lot of work it might not be like governing some type of company or country and stuff like that but still it's work and I feel like he didn't think it would be a lot of work I think he's a little lazy <laughs> like to summarize like Prince Harry really did not think this through he didn't think that being with Megan and going off on himself would be this damn complicated that's like that's like the gist of it like he was unprepared he was very unprepared like he didn't know what to expect in the long run in this relationship with Meghan Markle like he knew he always wanted to do certain things but he didn't know once that he was encouraged or had this backing behind him how everything would really play out and now that he's seen the burdens he's just all together just tired of it like, he's just tired of everything at this point. Okay, so the next three cards we have for Megan's energy around her and Prince Harry's relationship energy we have is... We have the Seven of Wands, the Page of Cups, and we have Six of Wands. Oh, wow. So, Megan's energy is very similar to Prince Harry's energy about the whole having to constantly fight... For this relationship their image you know to be together but i do see that unlike prince harry Megan isn't ready to give up on this relationship this marriage just yet because she put too much effort into it and she's not about a lot she's not about to allow other people the satisfaction of seeing their relationship just fall fail and crumble to the ground like, yeah, she's just as delusional, but more in a childish way on how she thinks about their current life right now is that we can do anything. And for Prince Harry, he's like, yeah, I tried doing this or that and it didn't work. So what now? Meg is more on the positive despite all these failures they're going through. And then with that Six of Wands... Like, I don't think she cares. I think she's only focused on the positive and the success because she knows how much she's judged in the public eye and she refused to drop her image just because they're going through a rough patch or this new venture didn't go well or everything that they planned completely backfired. She's not going to admit wrong, like, that his relationship is wrong or everything just falling apart. She's not going to admit that. She's just going to keep fighting and push him to keep pushing through, not to give up that they got this. Because I don't think she is someone that likes to lose. You know, that's why people, what's, um, what's the word? The people, 
people that don't like to lose. I don't know the word for it, but she's giving giving me that. And of course, plus, like, it's not like she's just with him to be with him. Like, she does love him. And I do think she's also being affected through these hard times with each other. I do, I do see a little bit of emotional baggage in trying to push it away or brush it off. Because she is so keen on looking a certain type of way, presenting the certain type of perfectness that she can't just let everything just fall apart for her. You know, quickly looking at my bottom deck energy, I do think that they both are really thinking about how things were in the past a little more easier. I'm not saying it was the best, but it's a little more easier than it is right now. But I do think that Wait, what the, the Empress card? I don't think she's pregnant. I doubt she's pregnant. Let's just could be mother energy. As I was saying, I do think that they're both going to take a step back and focus more on their family. To help reground them and bring them some peace in the relationship right now. Because there's just too much going on. And this relationship can easily crumble even more if they don't do something about it so i do think they're gonna try to regroup try to work some things out and focus on the family until they find a new outlet hmm. queen of pentacles i am i'm seeing a lot of mother child family and partnership energy trying to fix some things they're really trying to fix a lot of their problems right now. It's almost giving they have no other option because, like I said, somebody does not want failure. Everything to fail. Sacrifice a lot of things. Weird thing. There could be some third party energy. I'm not sure what that is. It's very faint. I wouldn't be able to tell you if that means, oh, it's somebody cheating, or I wouldn't be able to tell you. It's very faint. So that either, to me, if it's faint energy, it's probably like thinking about cheating or something long in the past was cheating. So I don't know. Okay, so I pulled three Oracle cards to see more of Prince Harry and Meg Markle's relationship energy. We have is Paradise. There's happiness, expansion, joy. Playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Then we have Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, meeting, hesitation. Then we have seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party. So I was right about the third party. Well, damn. So it could be somebody. Somebody be could be getting seduced, flirting, or talking to somebody that could lead to cheating. Like I said, I don't think it's all just negative in a relationship. I do think there's the good times, especially with this Paradise card. Especially when they take a step back and focus on, like, the foundation of the relationship, like their family unit. unit. Okay, the bottom deck energy we have is the wedding rings. They're already married, so I don't see no divorce, so that's good. Got the love call, someone expressing the love, a message, thinking about you, letting you know. But we do have not enough. So frustrating relationship, lack of confidence, self sabotage, fear slash ego issues, and jealousy. But underneath that, we have the date card. So meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, and plans to set up a date. So mm mm mm. -mm. All I can say that somebody could be getting temptation from outside third parties to distract themselves from their iffy relationship. Well, iffy marriage. They're married. It's, I'll be honest with you. It's probably going to be Prince Harry because I think Megan still wants to fight. And he's giving me one to give up. So... I wouldn't be surprised he's the one that decides to cheat or get caught up in the situation. Just letting you know. Okay, before I end this reading, I just want to pull a couple more Oracle cards on, I guess, Prince Harry's feelings towards Megan. Some more clarity. 
or how he feels, something like that. You know, vice versa. Okay, so the first two Oracle cards is for Prince Harry. His feelings towards Meghan Markle we have is, I don't know where to start. And we have, I am better with my mind than my heart. So that's very interesting. And then Meghan Markle's feelings towards Prince Harry we have is, if I could go back in time, I would handle us differently. That's very interesting. Because I do think she particular misses their old selves like the beginning how they were at the beginning of their relationship and then we have the heat between us is intense like i said i still think that there is love in this connection everything is just complicated especially from outside sources and just everyday life struggles is what's causing issues in this relationship aka this marriage which is just making me think that a lot of relationships aren't just perfect 24 7 the only difference is these are like famous rural people, so their issues are more amplified versus everybody else's. Okay, that's all I gotta say. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.